Hello friends, since the stack screw team lives in a place with 4 seasons, in winter temperature can drop down to minus 25 degrees or minus 13 Fahrenheit. And that's why we need heating. Here for room heating, most people use hot water heating radiators. Most often they are equipped with thermostatic radiator valve with liquid sensor. Simple, inexpensive and performance functions. But they have several drawbacks. Their function is to keep the constant temperature in the room. But if you're ventilating your living space, which you absolutely must do, these thermostats start to significantly heat up the room because they're dumb and don't know that you're ventilating the room, resulting in unnecessary energy consumption and excessively dehumidified air with hot radiators. Well, of course, every time you ventilate the room you can turn it to position zero, but it's inconvenient, and then you must turn it back to the desired temperature. Another major drawback is that these thermostatic radiator valves can dynamically change the temperature. For example, lower temperatures during night and higher in the morning. Also, when everyone is away from home at work, it's not necessary to maintain 22 degrees indoors. 18 is sufficient. When you are away, room temperature stays significantly lower and room warms up when you return home. Sounds nice, right? It turns out such smart radiator valve with mentioned features can be purchased starting for $30 to $40. That's what I did. I bought three Olympia IO IO HT2000 smart radiator valves to test them out myself and share my experience. Let's see what's included in a package for this price. Of course, manual, some kind of adapter, the smart radiator valve itself and two batteries. The smart radiator valve itself is not complicated. Programmable controller and mechanism that moves the valve. Most modern heating radiator valve threads will be the same and there should be no problems. Just take out the old valve. The operation of the valve is simple. Valve closes, no heat. Valve opens, yes heat. Before installing the new smart radiator valve, put in the batteries. It's nice that good batteries are included in the set. Also, correctly fill in the required information. When you start the adaptation mode, you can see how it works by regulating how much hot water will flow into your radiator. To install these smart valves on the radiator, you need an adapter ring, which is usually in the package or on the valve itself. If you have non-standard thread for the radiator, then you must use one of the additional adapters. Once we have attached the adapter, put the smart valve on top. Then in settings, find the adaptation mode and start it. This is required for a smart radiator valve to calibrate the valve movement from a fully open position to fully closed. You can set your desired settings before or after placing the valve on radiator. More expensive valves also have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and even cloud remote control options. But functionality is the same. I've been using such valves for at least 2 years now. And the coolest thing is that I can sleep in a cool room that I personally like and wake up in a warm room. A good thing is also when ventilating the room, the valve will turn off the heating and after 30 minutes turn it back on. It's hard to say whether you save some energy this way because weather outside is always changing but most likely that there is some. There is no reason there shouldn't be. The battery pair has been going for 2 seasons now, unbelievable. The main drawback, however, is that the smart radiator valves with wireless connections still cost at least $50-$70 some smart home equipment even more, if of course this is an important criteria for you. Another disadvantage is that if valve is close to your bed, you can definitely hear it opening and closing. If it's further away, then there will be no problems. Also be careful if you have young children, because my little son likes to climb on them, and one of them broke because they're made out of plastic. Otherwise, smart radiator valve is a must-have thing, ideal to use in rooms where you enter only during weekends. In such rooms during the week, temperature can stay at minimum degrees, but during the weekend, a pleasant 22 degrees will be waiting in the room. There are many features, and in the end it creates a significant increase in comfort and additional energy savings. Leave a comment about which smart radiator valve are you using, or why are you not using one. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that we can meet in another Homestuff video. Good luck my friend, and goodbye.